Hello, I'm Anne from Cards or Die Board Gaming and I'm here this Toy Tuesday to talk to you about the game of Continuo. It's known as the one rule game because it's super easy to learn and it's one of those games that although it's easy to learn, on your turn you've got lots to think about, lots of decisions to make. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about that today. This game is on display at the Abbey House Museum and is also in my collection of games as well. It was designed by Maureen Hiron, and that's why I've chosen it this time because it's a game designed by a woman and it's been International Women's Day this week, so it seemed like a good choice. Maureen Hiron was um, more famous for playing bridge in her day. She represented England and Great Britain at bridge, so she was a fantastic bridge player um, and she enjoyed traditional games. She was a PE teacher at a London Comprehensive um, she was pensioned off due to uh, an accident that she had um, and the accident that she had was that an air conditioning unit fell on her head. Ow. It did such damage that it was it was supposed to be like a stroke, the damage that it did to her um, and it took her two years to heal. So she left teaching um, and got into game design and the very first game she designed was this one Continuo and it was designed in 1982 it was originally cut up bits of cereal packet with lines drawn on and coloured in and she played around with it until she was happy with what she'd got six weeks after its release it was the UK's best-selling game in just six weeks it sold 205,000 copies in the first three months and it won the Mensa Select Award in 1995 so it's a great little game um, and so I'll show you it properly. So I bought my copy of Continuo in Oxfam. Um, and I have to say, when I picked it up, I didn't even really know that it was a game. It's got this burgundy packaging. It's a very peculiar looking little box. When I got it, it wasn't this battered, but it's been well loved and well played. So it's uh, it's become a bit battered. Okay, so you can see it's kind of falling apart a bit. There's the rules, just a tiny little rule book. I think there's one more page, yep, there we go. Tiny rule book. That's that. And then we've got 42 different cards. And the game works by you start with a couple of cards out, depending on the number of people who are playing, and you go ahead and you just match those up however you want. So the colours, what you're looking to do is match colours. So you see the blue there goes all the way across there. So I could have either matched blue or I could have matched it by matching green on there. So I can do either of those things to set the game up. So if I match the blue, because that's a bit longer, then on your turn, you simply take a card and you place it. And what you're trying to do is get the maximum amount of points because at the end of the game, the person with the most points wins, okay? And the way to make, get the most points is to make the longest chain of colours. So if I pop it there, I'm going to score, because I'm adding to this original one, two, three, four, five, six blue. So I would get nine points plus one, two, three, four, five, six points there. So that would be 15. And then two points, so 17 points, because the two reds join. So you score for every line that you add to and that's it. You just keep adding your tiles. Put turned over two at once there. Cheat. Right, so, and it's about working out how you can maximise your score. And the more that you have out, the easier that becomes to work out. Once you've placed it and let go of it, that's it. It's placed. There's no point in me putting it down there and then suddenly saying, oh, I should have put it over there. Okay, so the trick is to kind of have a look at where you're going to go and not let go of it. Okay, so if I paste that one there, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Oh, 10, 11. Okay, and that's it. You just keep placing your tiles. There's all different patterns, all different arrangements, and you just keep placing your tiles. It takes up quite a lot of space on the table, but it's a really satisfying game and you, you points tend to accrue more and more and the more tiles that are down the more decisions there are to make and the more there is to think about but like she said herself like Maureen Hiran said it is the one rule game you just match in colours and it's just super simple but really enjoyable 
and this copy is from 1982 so this is a vintage copy 